Hey YouTube, today I had to change the brushes in my Hitachi angle grinder. So I thought I'd do a quick video on changing these and at the same time make mention of this incredibly long lived little machine. Well someone once said life wasn't meant to be easy and they were certainly right. Try to do a job and have to fix your tools. Now before I do anything I'm going to unplug this. I don't like the idea of getting electrocuted. Oh. Of course that's magnetised and picking up all the gunk on the bench. Uh, pretty sure what's going to be wrong with this is the brushes in the motor. And this old Hitachi. Oh yep, yep, pretty much worn out. Had a good life. I've got some spares here, and let's hope. Yes, they fit. This Atashi uh, grinder is at least 20 years old, maybe a shade more. I'm still going strong. It's one from back in the day where they used metal gears. And I believe that makes all the difference. This plastic rubbish they make these days is just throwaway. Whoa, look at that brush. Not much left to him. Just got to make sure we get this in the picture because that's worth a look. Are we getting a focus? Yeah, look at that. We won't get any more wear out of that one. Yeah, put that one in. Had a couple of sets of brushes in this, I don't remember how many. But it has been a mighty little grinder. Not that it's had the sort of use you'd get in an industrial area, but for a home hobbyist. Whoa, there we go. All good. And I'm cheap, but I'm not cheap enough to try and reuse that one that's got some left in it. I'll just toss them up. <laughs> yep. I don't know how they rate Hitachi tools. I usually give Makita a better name, but uh, yeah, can't fault that one at all. It's been great. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Till next time.